Oh, how's it made? Now, we all love a good board game. But you'd be stuck without a dice. These handy items help us determine the next move and come in a multitude of colours, shapes and sizes. So, let's find out how dice are made. Step one. The first step is to choose the material. Now, although you can get dice in all sorts of materials, from fluffy fabric to wood, the sort we use for board games are made of a tough plastic. It has to be easy to mould and be coloured, but hard enough to withstand a lot of rolling. Then the material used is frequently an epoxy or acrylic. Step two. Granules of the tough plastic are mixed with coloured granules and the whole lot is melted, often over a long screw which turns inside a cylinder. This keeps the mix moving. Step three. The molten plastic is injected into tiny moulds, hollow presses the size and shape of the dice. The moulds even include the dips for the dots on each side. Step four. Now, whilst the dice may be one colour, the dots will need to be a different colour. Say white, so you can see the number easily. The white paint is painted over the whole dice, which are then tumbled in a machine with an abrasive. So only the paint remaining is inside the dips for the dots. <laughs> Clever, eh? Step five. After a good polish, the dice will be thoroughly tested to make sure they are correctly weighted and that each side is equal. Else you might find it hard to roll that six you needed. And then the dice are ready to roll. Now I must get on, but come back soon and find out more about manufacturing with my splendid stipendiary compendium. How's it made? With support from the Royal Commission for the 1851 Exhibition. Find out more at funkidslive.com.